a blessed Friday to us. One interesting note that we have to put into context, in as much as the significant first, what we call council held in the church, the Council of Jerusalem, is this particular uh, greeting, but this is actually an address towards the end at the letter that says farewell. And the word farewell, of course, is well related to the word goodbye. But there is much more that we can learn from the word farewell. Here in this context, it is affixed in a letter. So there is nobody or no one going away or leaving. But this is actually a prayer and at the same time, an act of blessing to those for whom the letter is addressed. And what is the literal meaning of farewell? Well, of course, is good or fine or, you know, uh, something that is uh, actually doable. And then fair is to do, to do something that is doable. And this is a reference to the requirements, the effect of the council. The council may be a very long and a tedious process, but after the council, it is still even more tedious because this is where we have to find ourselves trying to fit in and trying to do whatever is asked of us. And this is actually what is happening right now in our experience because Pope Francis has actually uh, started the so-called the synod, the synod, synod of synodality. There are so many things that we have to talk again, to talk about once more, but the doing has something to do with what comes after. And it always rests or it always depends on how we are able to do it. But the blessing is always farewell. So, in other words, farewell is dili lang babay, no? Ato wala man taan na pinulungan. We are using the Spanish word adios, no? We do not say, wala man taan. Sabi ni Tagalog, I think there is paalam, no? Which is something to do nga, mananghid ka, mamulakaw ka, no? Pero sa ato ang Cebuano, I don't know, wala man, wala man kayo tayo pulong ana. Ang atong kanunay nga gamiton is adios. But what is adios for us? Adios is with God. No? Do something with God when I, am, when, I, when I am away or when I leave and for those who remain. And this is the very challenge that we always take into account, the very challenge that we embrace, to fare well in what we are doing in living our lives. And we have to be always aware that faring well has to be based on the love that we have for God and for each other as the gospel reading today says, love one another as I love you. And if we do that, we fare well. Ogdili, farewell. Amen.